YouTube? What are you doing here? I didn't know I'd be joined by YouTube today. I guess I gotta make a video. Okay, okay, I'll make a video, but next time you gotta tell me, okay? Can't just be sneaking up on me like that. Anyway, it's a good thing you're here, YouTube, because I'm actually in a neighborhood I don't get to nearly often enough. It's an area called Verdun. And this is one of the more unique parts of the city. But also, this is just a great time to be in Montreal. The energy in the streets is great right now. It's, it's June 1st, a new month is here, and it kind of feels like a new beginning for Montreal. Patio season has just started up. They reopened outdoor dining after a long time. The curfew that we've been dealing with for many months is also gone. <laughs> and equally as exciting for a lot of Montrealers, the Montreal Canadiens just knocked out the Toronto Maple Leafs. The Montreal Canadiens are headed to Winnipeg for the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. I'm standing here right outside the Verdun metro station. I guess to the south, yeah, the southwest of downtown. But yeah, I'm gonna take you on a little walk today. And then after that, we're gonna meet up with an old friend of mine named Elizabeth. She's lived in Verdun for a few years and she's gonna give you the, the local perspective. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's go. So yeah, this is Verdun Avenue that I'm walking on now. Uh, or maybe it's Verdun Street. It's Verdun something. Indian food, sushi, pizza by the slice. So far so good, Verdun. So far so good. Huh. Nice little birdhouse. What's going on up here? Look at this weird claw looking thing. I have never seen something like this in my life. I mean, I guess it's moving day in Verdun. Yeah, June 1st, I mean, it's, it's the beginning of a new month, people moving in, people moving out. But you know what that giant crane, it reminds me of that game. You know that game where you, you pay a dollar and then you got that crane and you try and grab some like, some toy or some, <laughs> you know, you got the glass box of toys and stuff. Ah, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, Dan, enough with the terrible metaphors because we are now walking up to Wellington Street, which, as I understand it, is the heart of Verdun. It's the main commercial street going down the middle of it. It looks like it might be pedestrian only today. Look at this. Bienvenue de Wars. What's de Wars? I guess that means like pedestrian street all the way along here. Oh, that's nice. You know what, they must have just opened this. Because I heard that like at the beginning of June, Montreal was gonna start opening up these walking streets, uh, just like they did last summer. They brought it back again, which is a great idea. They even got a map of all the cafes and everything. It reminds me of those maps you see when you enter into shopping malls sometimes. I guess this is the new shopping mall. So as you can probably see, a lot of these patios are still opening up. Uh, no one really knew when things were gonna open up. Uh, it was a bit last minute when they announced that the walking streets are coming back and stuff. So I think they're just preparing to get the summer vibe started here in Wellington Street. Maybe I'll come back here a bit later, see how the patios are doing. All right, all right. I'm gonna go meet my friend Elizabeth. Uh, she lives with her boyfriend Alex. Quick story about Elizabeth and Alex to give you an idea what kind of people they are. Uh, I actually met them when I was traveling in Vietnam back in 2016. They were the first people I ever met from Montreal. And yeah, we were friends and you know, I just thought you know, the people you meet when you're traveling, you probably never see them again. 
but when I eventually moved to Montreal, we became friends again. <laughs> of course, uh, in early 2020, when the pandemic hit and the world was ending and nobody knew what to do, uh, Alex and Elizabeth put on a DJ party on Zoom, a virtual party. Yeah, that's just the kind of people they are. They say, you know, if the world is gonna end, we're gonna have a good time. So uh, yeah, they're, they're awesome. All right, YouTube, here we are. Say hello to Elizabeth. Hi. How you been? Good, good. We just uh, hung out at Elizabeth's place, had a little fizzy soda, tonic soda. What was it? What was it? Off-brand Lacroix, I guess. Yeah. Now, those, t those towers over there, is that, is that still Verdun? What's, what's all that? Uh, it's on the other side, uh -huh. on, the, on the Ile des Sœurs, Nuns Island. Those nuns are living nice. <laughs> they hate being part of Verdun because like okay. it's usually like it's like more sub suburban. Okay, different like vibe. A, a, a little bit more uh, expensive. While uh -huh. we're just like poor people, <laughs> and they pay all their city taxes and it all goes to us. And they're like they don't like being part of Verdun. <laughs> <laughs> we're just walking through this park, gonna find a little trail that actually leads somewhere I've never been before, which is Verdun Beach. It was only open like a year or two ago, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think uh, a summer or two. They set up, they, they brought some sand and stuff. And I mean, it's a good place to have a beach because Verdun is still on the west end of the island. I wouldn't go swimming in the St. Lawrence in the east end because that's like after all the whole city and after the, all the factories. Oh, you're right. It flows, it flows this way. Yeah, so that I feel sense. like it, it gets dirtier, you know. If I'd go <laughs> swim, Verdun is not that bad. <laughs> I think I annoy everyone I hang out with by doing shots like that, but hopefully YouTube appreciates the little cinematic touch. I would do this too, so like I don't I really don't mind. Like I can totally relate. Elizabeth has a YouTube channel too, so she knows a bit about what it's like. Yeah. I haven't uploaded anything in like in a year, but you know. Elizabeth travels, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll throw a link down below. If anyone wants to support another Montreal YouTuber, go check it out. Elizabeth does really cool work. So for anyone who's watching from Brazil or Mexico or something, you might be like, oh, a cute little Canadian beach. But for a Canadian city to have a beach in the city limits, that's actually quite rare. So it's ni nice to see something like this. Plage Urbaine de Verdun. No drinking. I'm sure every Verdunner respects that, right? For sure. For no sure. one in the history of Verdun would ever uh, sneak a beer to the beach. No, not even the people sitting to the right of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we were just sitting here in the park and discussing one of Montreal's favorite pastimes, which is making fun of Toronto. <laughs> but I think Montreal is a cooler city than Toronto. I, I think you I, would agree with that. Of course, I would agree. Like I, I love it here. Like I'm a I'm a true like ambassador for this city. Whenever I travel, I do in hostels is talk to like everybody from around the world and like how cool my city is and how great Montreal is. I think the only city that like is cooler is probably Berlin. <laughs> like we can't compete with that level of cool, but Toronto is just like it's a good place to be if you want to build your career and make money. But, you know, it's not not a lot of uh, fun park hangouts. I've been trying to put my finger on like what is that special what's that special ingredient? that makes Montreal what it is. Like I've been saying it's a city where people can really be who they want to be, dress how they want to dress, act how they want to act. I think there's a freedom to it. Do you have any thoughts on like what it is that makes Montreal a special place? I think it's just like a really unique place in Canada because like if, if, like, if, you, if you just zoom out, every neighborhood in Montreal is different from each other. And then Montreal is very different from the rest of Quebec. Like the cult culturally here, like it's not the same thing. If you like drive out 150 kilometers out in the country, you're not gonna meet the same kind of people. But then if you zoom out more, then Quebec is completely different than the rest of Canada. You know, it's French speaking, it's a different religion, it's just like a completely different world. And then Canada like always puts itself in opposition to the, to the United States. 
So it's just like so many layers of weirdness and complexity. Like being from Montreal is just so, it's so niche. It's like, it's not comparable to any other place. The vibe is definitely picking up since I was here last. This is, this is pretty cool. Yeah, like uh, until a few years ago, we couldn't have bars in Verdun, but now they're finally loosened the restriction. So we have like four, I think. Four. Yeah, but it can't be like a, just a bar. It has to be a resto bar, like have some fancy food or something. It has to be, like craft beer. Is that like one of those old laws going back to prohibition and stuff? Uh, I don't know. Like, I don't know when it wasn't stated. I think like for a hundred years, there were like there was just like a, a dry law in the neighborhood. Something about it being like a neighbor, like a worker's neighborhood and the municipality not wanting workers to spend their money in the bars. Like and if you want to go drink, go drink at home with your wife kind of thing. <laughs> like, that's what I heard. I don't know how true that is. Yeah, nice to see even this, even this clothing shop embracing the street. So everywhere either has a patio or is desperately building a patio. <laughs> What do you get? That was a fake, uh, fake blonde. Fake blonde. <laughs> so that wasn't a planned stop. Uh, Elizabeth just let me know she wanted to grab a beer. So we stopped by this little craft beer grocery place. And one thing I filmed in there was this uh, spicy peanut butter. I don't know if you've ever seen that stuff, Mambas. No. I don't even know where I heard of it, but it's made by a Montrealer who came from Haiti. Okay. And they have this like spicy peanut butter in Haiti and they, they were like wanting to bring it to Quebec. It's just like peanut butter with chili inside. And if you're into that, it's really good. I've never heard of it. So the woman working there, she saw me in there with my camera, right? And yeah. she was like, were you taking a photo? Were you taking a photo? At first I thought I was like in trouble, like, oh, maybe I should have asked, you know? But then I told her, yeah, I'm making a YouTube video. And she's like, okay. You can have a free drink. If you're making a video about us, you can have a free drink. So I wanted to give them a shout out. Really nice lady. And I'm sure the, uh, the poutine will be good too. I've definitely had my fair share of poutine since moving to Montreal, but I'm embarrassed to say I haven't featured one in a video until today. Should I give the local a chance to explain what a poutine is? Well, it's French fries, like a beef gravy, and cheese curds. Cheese curds, it's kind of like, like a middle, Middleman in the process of making cheese. Before you get cheese, you get the curds. But we kind of just stop there. <laughs> uh, it's like a really young cheese, basically, basically like mozzarella. Very I didn't similar. know that. I just thought of it as like a squeaky kind of cheese. Yeah, it just squeaks on your on your teeth. We call it squeaky cheese. I don't know how anyone stays skinny in the city when you have poutine like that. But uh, yeah, I just said goodbye to Elizabeth. Thanks again, Elizabeth, for your help on the video. My final thoughts on Verdun, I mean, it's a neighborhood where it's, it's got the best parts of Montreal. It's got the multicultural food. It's got the nice walking streets. It's got the nature. It's got the beach, which is very rare for Montreal. A lot of reasons to be happy in Verdun. There's a lot of reasons to be happy in Montreal right now. Like I was saying at the beginning, the weather is good, the summer is coming, restaurants are opening up. It's a good time to be here. And yeah, as a final thought, just wanted to say I'm very grateful for everyone who watches my videos. Uh, I've been doing this for about five years. I've traveled around a lot of different places. But when I moved to Montreal, like I didn't know if there was a market for this kind of videos. I, I didn't see many YouTubers speaking English in Montreal. So I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if this would be the end of my channel or not. But I've got tons of messages from people offering to show me their neighborhoods. I've got tons of good comments in the comment section. I've been feeling the good energy recently in Montreal and I, I really appreciate it. It really makes my day. So thanks to everyone who's been watching. As always, I'm Dan from The New Travel and I'll see you next time.